All right. Hello and welcome to the jungle, baby. I want to show you a little flexibility. See how flexible these model cast and uh, Sherman tracks can be. And they're, they're workable. And it really depends on how you glue these things together. You got your end connectors and then your pads in between and your end connectors glue to the points of coming out from the pad. So you have to be really, really selective with your glue here to to get them to be this flexible. I've been getting notes to use super glue and then uh, white glue and all this other stuff. But I've come to the conclusion of being happy just using this good old extra thin stuff here. And on the end connectors, just really lightly daubing the pins coming out from the blocks, the rubber blocks. Just really lightly daubing on there and then putting your end connector, setting your end connector in there. I mean, that glue is so, so strong, it'll... It'll fuse that plastic with just a barely a bit of a minimum amount. And you'll be nice and tough. And you won't be all, uh, you know, just bunched up in there and, and, and just gluing the thing solid. Just a very minimum amount of glue on your end connectors. And, and you'll be nice and flexible like that. And, uh, you can see... How flexible these can be and still pretty tough, you know, pulling them apart. There you go. I got my, my shorter section. That's even the most flexible of them all right here. And look at here, how it goes around that idler. I mean, that's all you need right there. That's all you need. And then around your uh, your sprocket. How about that? How, how, how you like that fit? Boom. So it, it 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 depends on how much glue you put on the attachments to the end connectors. Very very minimum amount. Let it set up, and then if it gets you know tough in some some spots, like you can see here, like there, just kind of work that out a little bit. Try to work it work it out a little bit. I mean, don't be too heavy handed with it. Just try to work it out a little bit. And again, it depends on how much amount of glue you put on the end connectors there, on the on the attachment points. Anyway, I wanted to show you that. Get an idea of these model <laughs> model casting. Model casting uh M4 T fifty one tracks for the Sherman tank 135th scale. Anyway, I'm happy to show that to you and uh, like I said welcome to the jungle baby. <laughs>